Investigators meet with the crew right away. They want to know exactly what was happening when the engines flamed out. We were descending through 16.5 when both our engines flamed out at the same time. That both of them coming apart at the same time is uh, an infinitesimal possibility. This plane was powered by one of the most advanced and widely used jet engines on Earth, the CFM-56. It powers not only the Boeing 737, but Airbus and military planes as well. The CFM-56 is just a marvel of current engineering aeronautically. There are thousands and thousands of them out there, and they almost never, ever fail. But two CFM-56s had failed on this one plane alone. Investigators desperately need to know why. I haven't flown through too many storms that intense. They turn their attention to the weather conditions. It's considered a very rare occurrence for engines to have flamed out in flight. And uh, therefore, the concentration was on what possibility would cause this. Is there an environmental effect since they were flying through rain and hail? Tell me about the storm. The winds were fierce. There was so much rain and hail, we could barely see out the window. Dents in the fuselage revealed that the plane was struck by hail almost an inch in diameter. If the hail was strong enough to damage the exterior of the plane, investigators wonder if it crippled the engines as well. A turbofan engine is made up of a system of fans and blades. A large fan brings air into the engine. A series of blades compresses the incoming air, which mixes with fuel to ignite spinning the turbines deep inside the engine. The first thing you look for is to find the parts and then look in the front and the back of the engine to determine if there's damage that might explain something has gone in the engine or something has broken inside the engine. 